Hi, I'm Bob Lee, and for the past 16 years, I've been part of something very special here at ESPN called SportsCenter. Yes, SportsCenter is a sports news and information show, but to those of us who actually work here, it's something much, much more. And so it's with a great deal of pride that I invite you, over the next several months, to take a long, hard look at the SportsCenter you've never seen before. A behind-the-scenes exclusive you are sure to enjoy. Doing a show is emotionally and physically exhausting. Afterwards, the last thing you want to do is talk to the media. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's a TV show. I mean, we're done now. We go out and do the next one. But, um, you know, we definitely had some problems in the top of the third segment. I guess it was a teleprompter. I mean, I know a management will get after me for, you know, for mentioning it on the air like this. But it's like they bought old Soviet, you know, technical equipment. I mean, like, what is this, community access television? I'm a role model. I want to be a role model. Charles Barkley doesn't want to be a role model. I do. And you know what? I'll be a role model to his kids. The show. I'm not going to be able to see it. So the lead into the Emmett Smith piece, that's my biggest problem. All right, well, hey, I think. Do you guys know where the research department is? Yeah, Mary Lou, it's right around the corner to the left. Down that way? Yeah. Thanks. Sure. So, anyway, the point of the story is the fact. I don't know why Linda Russ has kind of dropped the gloves. Neely and Stevens, they don't fight anymore. They're respected around the league. And besides, I mean, penalty minutes doesn't equate to toughness in my book. I mean, when I think tough, Doug Gilmore's tough. Mark Messier's tough. You need some more rouge. Here? Mm hmm Thanks. You know, your foundation has looked great lately. Thanks. But you know what the best thing about Sports Center is, if you think about it? Every show's live. Comes in as an unseated oh, player of... Jeez. Who the hell is that? Not two, but three. Carter belts the home run in the ninth inning. The Blue Jays win the World Series. He takes Hubert Humphrey's name off of it. The Vice President of the United States, former mayor of Minneapolis. Just when you think you've seen it all, you realize you've seen nothing at all. Sports Center back with you. One constant remains in Chicago. Quarterback controversy. Steve Walsh and Eric Kramer. Sports Center's the kind of show that you just have to try new ideas. You have to try new experiments all the time. Greetings. I'm Linda Cohn. It's an animal. You have to feed it every day. Sports Center back with you. Golf the topic, the final major on the men's tour. Good evening, and welcome to Sports Center. We're always trying to be on the cutting edge. Hello, America. I'm Mary Lou Retton. And I'm Steve Levy. You tuned into America's program, Sports Center, coming at you. But that's what you have to do. You have to push the envelope. You have to try out new things. All right, what do you think about a story about how Roger Clemens has lost his best fastball? He has not lost his best fastball, Jack. Oh, come on, 89, 90 miles an hour tops. 95, 96, two weeks ago, 100 earlier this year in Detroit, he can still bring it. Yeah, I don't believe that. All right, wait, we can settle this real easily. Mm -hmm. Rocket, could, could you come in here for a second? What's up, gang? Jack here says you, you can't bring it anymore. Oh, is that right? Can you hold that for me, please? <laughs> 98, okay. pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I told yeah, you yeah. there was no story. Still got it. Thanks, right. Roger. You got it, guys, anytime. He's here. Make a hole, people. Come on. Here's the highlights. You might want to check out the third quarter. Are you sure you can't stay? I gotta get back. I have an early practice tomorrow. We have athletes hanging out at SportsCenter all the time. The one thing they have in common, though, they all want their highlights on, they all want the publicity, they all want their name spell right. But some of them tend to take it a little too far. No, really, Carl, I want you to have the car. It's not enough room. You can have the car. Hey, is this, uh, is this your Rolex right here? Come on, man, you can take it. I mean, look much better than what you got on that. Come on, Mike. Cherokee, I have a watch. It's really nice. Cherokee, I have a watch. Just take it, man. I mean, come on, Mike. I can't do this. Wait, 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 I, wait, I can't look, do that. I got you, Mike. Look, 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 why don't you take I the helmet? I understand. Oh, it's I understand. really not well, necessary. Chicago at 2 o'clock. No, really. I know it's an important press conference. It's a nice gesture, I have to be though. I really do appreciate it. I mean, that's impossible. Susie. Wait, 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 hold on. I can get you there in 10 minutes. You can? Yeah, come on. Gotta go. I'm gonna need that. Sorry. I don't know how you're gonna do this, but I appreciate it. Uh, no problem. What's going on? Michael, you parked in Chris Berman's spot. I didn't know. Oh, come on. You moron! <laughs>